No oh shit corner I'm afraid folks I'm up at Winster in the Peak District on a drifter rally So without further ado let's go get some petrol Only a short ride from the miners standard at Winster down into Darleydale so that's where we're heading didn't really need petrol but seeing as we're all filling up I might as well didn't get all that much in really just over five pounds worth we meet the others back at the miners standard and then it's off in the direction of Bakewell Considering it's a bank holiday, there ain't that much traffic about. We're going to regret saying this when we get to Tideswell later on. There's the second man drop off marking the turn. So it's off down this way we go. And this is where the gremlins get us. The camera decided to play up. So after a stop at Lady Bower Reservoir at the bottom of the Snake Pass for a cuppa, I managed to reset the camera. So I'm afraid the last hour and a half of footage has gone. So right, it's off towards Glossop along the Snake Pass with Lady Bower Reservoir there on the left. And it's downhill we go towards Glossop. Apart from a malfunctioning set of traffic lights, not too bad a ride. The weather's picking up a bit better. It's still dull, but it's dry. That's the important bit. A quick cup at the Glossop Calf, and then it's away we go again. This time heading towards Buxton. A rather grand railway bridge as we drop down into Chapel on Le Frith. And along the A623, round at Sparrow Pit. This will be the road heading back down towards the Onderman Calf now. We did get held up behind a tractor and trailer for a few miles, but kindly, he eventually pulled over and we all got past. Cheers, driver. Within sight of the Onderman Calf, just up there on the right, We'll make a right turn off on the road that leads through Wardlow and back up to Monsell Head and eventually Bakewell. Just nipping past to let him know he's left his right indicator on. There you go. Cheers. The little calf and the viewpoint at Monsell Head. We would have pulled on there, but there's 15 of us and it's not that big a car park. Plus, we're a little bit strapped for time now. We've got dinner booked at 6 o'clock back at Winster. So we best press on. Okay, so there's a bit of traffic at Bakewell, but there generally is. And it's not that bad. We're held up less than a minute. Matlock Bath. 
generally slow moving traffic at least we can watch the cable cars going across up to the heights of Abraham like any Sunday there's a good many bikes and there's a couple of parking wardens on the way up the bikes parked over on the right I don't think there'll be a problem but a bit further up on the pavement by the riverside chippy I think they may uh, get a ticket shortly must admit if I stop for chips in Matlock Bath the riverside chippy is the one I always go to and there it is that'll do me my turn to stop as the second man drop off this time and wait until I can see tail end Charlie behind me and then away we go alongside Carsington water which wasn't actually filled until 1992 and the others have stopped to wait for us so once again there's now 15 of us running into Ashbourne And another kind driver lets us pull out. Cheers, mate. And that's it on the A515 now, up the hill, out of Ashbourne. And we leave the 515 at the Bentley Brook Inn on the road down towards Grange Mill and Ibble. Here we are at Grange Mill and that pub there on the left, the Hollybush Inn, there used to be a motorcycle rally there virtually every weekend in the 1980s in the infamous Boskin Bar. I don't know if they still do camping. I know they certainly don't do rallies anymore but a few more down the road there's a pub that certainly does camping the Miners Standard at Winster and there we are back in time for dinner which if you must know was chilli and rice and very nice it was too there we go not done a drift or do since 2018 I'll have to try and put that to rights in the future 